Hey everyone, welcome back to techvedas.learn. It's been a while, but I am super excited to be back with a fresh video for all of you who want to get started their journey in embedded system. Lately, I have been getting a lot of questions like where should I start? What should I learn first? So in this video, I am going to share five important things which you must learn before starting your career in embedded system in 2025. These are based on my work experience. So stick around till the end, especially if you are serious about your embedded journey. If you are here for the first time, consider subscribing for all future updates. So let's start. Let's start with the first section, C language. I cannot stress this enough. C is the foundation of almost every embedded project. From writing drivers, developing application to handle memory, it's all C. Focus on things like pointers, bitwise operations, memory management and structures. You don't need to be an expert from day one, but get comfortable solving small problems in C. You can also play around with the tools mentioned here. I also have a playlist on C language basics. You can check that out after this video. Next, understand how a microcontroller works. Pick one controller, download its datasheet and start exploring its specification, architecture and its various peripherals. Learn about the building blocks of embedded system like CPU, RAM, flash memory, GPIO, ADCs, and timers. This is where embedded starts feeling real. Buy a easily available development board or use a simulator to play around. Third, understand how embedded system interact with the real world. Learn about sensors, actuators, PWM, interrupts, digital versus analog signals. For example, let's say you want to build a system that turns on a fan when room temperature rises. In this system, you need to read the temperature, compare the values and control the motor. That's real embedded system right there. Fourth, develop a problem solving mindset. Embedded means bugs and lot of them. You will often deal with real-time issues, hardware glitches and timing mismatches. Learn to use tools like serial monitors, debuggers, logic analyzers or even just smart print operations. Start with simple project like blinking LED or counting button presses. Learn to isolate problems one step at a time. And finally, get a feel of industry trends. Know what an real-time operating system is, even if you don't use one right away. Also, if you are aiming for the automotive domain, learn what Autosar is. You don't need to deep dive at the start, but be aware of the ecosystem. So these were the five most important things you should focus on before learning embedded system in 2025. If you found this helpful, give it a like and comment which topic you want me to cover next. And don't forget to subscribe to techvedas.learn to build your embedded career step by step.